how does this building look from inside? What do we have in this building? Let's go and find out. Hello guys, it's Khalil Baruch once again. Today I'm gonna take you inside the most luxurious hotel in the world. The only seven star hotel, Burj Al Arab. I'm gonna show you what you find inside there. A TV made of gold. Sanitary wear made of gold. King's room and a queen's room. Without any further ado, let's get started. Burj Al Arab is one of Dubai's most famous landmarks and it's impossible for tourists to leave Dubai without taking pictures with this magnificent building. Everyone knows how this iconic hotel looks like from the outside, but only some get to experience what's inside Burj Al Arab. I was always curious about this 7-star hotel and decided to visit personally to witness what made it the only 7-star hotel in the world. The main ticket counter for inside Burj Al Arab is located in a boat-shaped building within the premises of Jumeirah Beach Hotel, the place where you find buggies waiting outside for the guests to be ready to go for an unbelievable and memorable tour of inside Burj Al Arab. So once you reach Jumeirah Beach Hotel, just in front of, just inside the boundary of Jumeirah Beach Hotel, you will find this building, which is like a boat. So you have to just walk inside. If you see here, it's written inside Burj Al Arab. This one, inside Burj Al Arab. You will just walk inside this building and you can get the tickets from there. Let's go inside. A few years ago, there were two options to have an opportunity of getting inside this hotel. Either by booking a suite because it's an all-suite hotel or by reserving a table in any of the restaurants it has inside. Now, we have another option which is called Inside Burj Al Arab. After purchasing my ticket, I got this lanyard. Tour ticket prices start from 250 dirhams, however, if you wish to upgrade it with a gold cappuccino, 370 dirhams, lunch or dinner, 600 to 900 dirhams. Have some welcome drinks, it's lemon and mint in this water. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much. This is the level of hospitality. When you reach there, they will give you this small uh, lemonade so that you can freshen yourself in this hot weather. Then the buggy driver arrived and escorted us to the buggy which was waiting for us at the main entrance. The buggy is stopped here so that the driver can double check if there is another buggy on the way as this is the only way to go and come back from the ticket counter to Burj Al Arab. Thank you for joining us on the Inside Burj Al Arab tour. This special path for the buggies to Burj Al Arab constructed next to Wild Wadi Water Park. These all properties belong to Jumeirah Group. After crossing the security checkpoint, the buggy driver stopped to give an opportunity to the tourists to take pictures with Burj Al Arab. Uh, there's a special spot where they fixed that place just to take pictures with Burj Al Arab to make your moments memorable. They have installed a camera and made a special place for the tourists to take pictures with the iconic building. You are allowed to take pictures with your own camera as well. After the photo session, while heading to the hotel, we saw a fleet of Rolls Royce waiting for the guests outside Burj Al Arab main entrance overlooking the beautiful resorts of Medina Jumeirah. The entrance for Inside Burj Al Arab Tour 
is on the left side of the building. You will enter from this backside door where you will be offered rose water in a traditional Arabic style and a cold towel to wipe your face and freshen yourself. Then you will be guided to the main hotel lobby with a burst of colors welcoming you. This is the tallest atrium in the world, which is 180 meter tall in a honeycomb style grid. The decor is brought to life by water fountains. We made our way towards the elevator which took us to the 25th floor in a matter of a few seconds with the panoramic views of the Arabian Gulf and Palm Jumeirah. The hotel has 28 floors multiplied by 2 because all suites are double storied. The first thing we were guided to was a museum where all the memories of this hotel presented along with the material used during the construction of this iconic marvel. Here you will find item samples which were used for furniture, curtains, chandeliers and gold tiles for bathroom walls. The original concept for the Burj Al Arab Jumeirah was like this, before it was refined to look as it does today. The next stop on the tour is the Dining Illusion. Just take your pick from the interactive menu and the dishes magically appear on your plates. Here Burj Al Arab shares their contribution towards nature, where thousands of injured turtles are rescued, treated, cured and released to the sea by the Turtle Rehabilitation Center in Burj Al Arab. Other displays highlight those memorable stunts that have taken place at the helipad of Burj Al Arab. The only helipad where David Cothard was seen doing donuts using a Formula 1 car, where Roger Federer and Andre Agassi played tennis. The next room has an experience of an amazing view along with a fresh date and a cup of Arabic coffee. This is the dates. Yes. 
Here they will offer you dates, seedless dates. You don't have to remove any seed from there. Amazingly soft, along with this Arabic coffee, which is called Gahwa in Arabic. Amazing. The royal suite, which is the crown and jewel of Burj Al Arab, when the butler knocks on the door of this suite and another butler graciously welcomed us in the royal suite. This was priced at around 90,000 dirhams, which is equivalent to $25,000 per night and has accommodated a variety of VIPs over the years, including Katy Perry, Nelson Mandela, Justin Bieber, and Khalid Baloch. <clears throat> Just for a tour. Get ready for the bus of colors. What do you think of the place? Good? Amazing. Exciting? Amazing. This, yes, this living room is basically taken from the fire element. Earlier you learned about the four elements, right? Yes, yes. So you can see more of red and orange color. Now example, if you have a look also at the artwork over there, this has been brought from Japan 200 years back. It's back in the 20th century. So His Highness wanted this place to be very warm and welcoming. So this is how we have some of the antiques available here. If you feel the carpet, this is from India, Kashmir, handmade, and alongside with the artwork over there. Yeah, the sofas, again, they are also handmade. So feel free, if you wish to take some photos here, you can, and explore the areas. Any questions that you have, it will be my pleasure to answer it for you. It's no longer open for booking for staying guests, but exclusively reserved for inside Burj Al Arab tours. Hello. Mom, so this much, please. Look, you can touch with this room first. Then we we'll go there. Don't worry. You will not miss anything. This is Majlis. Majlis is a traditional Arabic meeting place where you can sit with your family and friends. You can see design was made in Arabic style. It's kind of found in the desert. Mm -hmm. And many celebrities stayed in a row suite. Nelson Mandela, oh. Bill Clinton, Anthony Joshua, Ronaldo, David Beckham, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber and you. Yes. Um, also we have Queen's bedroom and Queen's bathroom with golden shower. Majlis. In Arab culture, it is important to have a majlis in all the houses so that the guests can have a private place for their gatherings with the host. Now we have entered in the Queen's room, which is famous for its toilet sanitary ware made of 24 karat gold 
and bathroom wall tiles made of 24 karat gold. The luxurious decor of this royal suite is so elegant that you feel yourself being a member of a royal family. This is the toilet where you will find everything gold. See this? This is made of gold. It's heavy, but it's real gold. 24 karat. Washroom, so bathroom where you will see the shower is made of gold. This is gold, pure gold. This one, see here, this one is gold. Even this one, you can hear the sound. The wall tiles in this bathroom are made of gold. You can't imagine this kind of luxury anywhere in the world. That's why this hotel is called a 7 star hotel in the world. Not only because of the gold, even the service and the hospitality which is quite different from any other hotel in the world. This is a dressing room inside the queen's room. Now we are entering into King's room where you will find a rotating bed. Isn't it amazing? This is the dressing room for the king. If you have noticed, it is much more bigger than the dressing room of queen. Usually women get a bigger space but here the case is different. The royal suite has a dining table as well. Beautifully decorated, elegantly designed. Just next to the dining room, we find King's library. It can be used as an office as well. The elevators are so fast, 
and I can feel pressure on my ears. It's like I'm on a plane. Before you exit to catch a buggy back to the drop-off area, you gotta pass through the luxurious boutique and purchase some of the souvenirs for your loved ones or yourself. In this souvenir shop, you will find a lot of accessories, books, show pieces, dates, sweets, perfumes, and much more. Here you will find the rarest crystals made especially for Burj Al Arab guests. Now here we end our tour of the day. I loved the experience. Hope you enjoyed the video too. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notified for my next video. Share your thoughts in the comments below and share this video with your loved ones. Spread love.